So, nagpapasalamat kami sa Panginoon kasi sa uh, uh, araw na ito ay gusto ninyong i-offer itong bahay na ito para sa Lord. Uh, malaking bagay yan kasi uh, when we welcome the presence of God in our place, uh, the blessing follows. At uh, magandang step yan at maganda rin na uh, ma-reach out din natin yung ating mga kasamaan dito sa bahay para yung blessing mag-extend, hindi lang doon sa naging might, hindi lang doon sa uh, regular na nakatira rito, but it can be extended even to those uh, people who will come and visit this place. So, mas maganda siguro, umisahan natin itong uh, ating uh, house blessing uh, in a prayer. Hilingin natin si Pastor Robert to start this uh, house blessing in a prayer. Siguro, tayo man nalami. Uh, among Diyos na uh, mga pangalay sa lahat, Panginoon, kami po ay lumalapit ng Lord God sa atin. Tinataas namin, Panginoon. Ang nga lang, Panginoon, Lord God, sapagat kayo po ang hari ng mga hari, sinasamba ka namin, Panginoon. Tinapasalamatan, Panginoon, sa araw ng Lord God. Lord, maraming salamat, Panginoon. Alam na yung Panginoon, nandito ka ngayon, Panginoon, sa aming kalagitnaan, sapagat promise mo, Lord God, two or three, rather than your name, you are the midst of you. Lord, thank you for your presence, Lord God. Maraming maraming salamat at hindi pa ngayon Lord God, uh, tinapasalamatan ka namin pa ngayon Lord God sa pagkat ng araw nito Lord God, tinataas namin ang aming sarili pa ngayon Lord God na bawat isa pa ngayon, alam na yung pa ngayon kami po ay nagkakasala, sinasadyaw ito Lord God, patawad po pa ngayon Lord God. And we claim for the forgiveness Lord God because we, we know Lord God that you have a full of forgiveness. Thank you so much Lord God. Maraming maraming salamat pa ngayon itong araw nito Lord God at uh, alam na yung pa ngayon, bigyan mo na ako pa ngayon Lord God, kabi pa ngayon Lord na ng ng wisdom and knowledge, Lord God, dahil na po, Panginoon, si Pastor Mark, Panginoon, bilang aming uh, pastor, at bilang mag, uh, magbigay, Panginoon, ng ating hayat, Panginoon, Lord God, para, Panginoon, sa blessing, Panginoon, ng mga niya, Lord God. Lord, maraming salamat, Panginoon, ang bawat isa, Panginoon, Lord God, i-bless mo nga po, Panginoon, Lord God. Maraming salamat, Panginoon. Lahat-lahat po sila, Panginoon, maging Panginoon, Lord God, ang mga visita, Panginoon, i-bless mo, Panginoon, Lord God. Uh, dahil na, Panginoon, sa kanilang maliliig, Panginoon, Lord God, na uh, visits with, Panginoon, Lord God, Lord, and cut into their minds, Lord God, and they can use for them and tell you as a delivery, Lord God. Maraming salamat, Panginoon. Ito po ang aming sound terami. Amen. Amen. So, purihin ang Panginoon. Uh, again, uh, good afternoon to everyone. Uh, ako po si Pastor Mark ng Jesus is Alive Community. We are from the Full Gospel Church. So, we only live up the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Wala kami ibang tinataas maliban sa pangalan na ating Panginoon. Not even the group or organization except the name of Jesus only. So, yun po yung sinasabing full gospel Bible believing church. Now, what do we expect uh, sa ating house blessing? Bakit ba tayo nagpapa-house blessing? Una-una, uh, we invite the presence of God. Pangalawa, we will pray also for uh, this whole place. Hindi lamang itong lugar na ito, kundi uh, impossible yung mga nakatira rito. Uh, mas maganda sana kung nandito sila. Sino ba yung mga nandito na nakatira na mismo? Yeah, and you your hands, please. Isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat, lima, anim. So, si Chloe, wala. 
Okay. Ah, ayun. Thank you. Uh, bakit importante yung mga nakatira dito? Kasi uh, we will pray also for unity among those uh, who live and stay in this uh, villa. Bakit? Kasi pangit tingnan na sama-sama tayo. Yung isang pinto yung nilalabas ang pinapasokan natin. Tapos uh, wala tayong unity. Kanya-kanya tayo. So we will also pray for that. What is next? Uh, we will also pray na hindi natin alam what happened in the past sa bahay na ito, di ba? So, we do not know the background, sino yung mga nakatira, ano yung ginawa, ano yung nangyari. So, we will cast out uh, and we will also do some uh, prayer of deliverance na tinatawag and cleansing. So, we will cleanse this house from all, uh, sabi na natin na mga uh, hindi magandang bagay na nangyari in the past, like the spirit of death, spirit of sickness, vices or whatsoever. So, we do not know what uh, if those things happen in the past. So, we will do some prayer cleansing. Amen. And uh, lastly, we will uh, do and release the prayer of blessings to everyone sa lahat na nakatira, sa lahat ng papasok, sa lahat na may involved sa bahay na ito. Now, if we agree for those things, uh, pwede ba natin sabihin uh, Amen? Amen. So, let us read from the book of uh, 2 Samuel, if you have your e-Bible, e-Bible din naman tayo, hanap nga, meron ako. So, kung meron kayo, uh, I would advise na maganda rin na dahil tayo ay in-invite natin ang presensya ng Panginoon at yung unang-una kung gusto talaga kayo, the blessings will follow. Apat yung sinabi ko kanina, let us remember that. Kung meron kayong cellphone in which lahat naman meron naman, wala siguro wala may cellphone. <laughs> Mag-download kayo ng, ano, ng, ng Bible, e-Bible sa inyong mga cellphone para at least kahit pa paano mabasa ninyo. Sabi sa 2 Samuel chapter 7, verse 29, Now be pleased to bless the house of your servant. So si Prophet Samuel na nagsasalit salita dito that it may continue forever in your sight. For you, sovereign Lord, have spoken and with your blessings the house of your servant will be blessed. So, ibig sabihin, uh, ini-invite ni, ni Prophet Samuel na i-bless yung house. So, when we invite the, the presence of God, the blessing follows. I will give you an example. Uh, ever since na ako ay nakakilala sa Panginoon, na born again, no? we, we are from the born again groups, no? at usong-uso naman yan, kilala na kilala niya, I need not explain what is being born again, siguro later na lang dahil yung pasok sila na alauna. So, <laughs> so, but anyway, uh, the blessing follows. I will give you an example. Mula nung ako inaborn again, I uh, normally invite uh, Christian communities, Christian group, born again groups, sa bahay namin. For what reason, uh, at least kahit na paano yung family members ko makakilala sa Panginoon, naborn again sila. At uh, they, they should learn at least sa mga, sa mga sa spiritual values. So, maraming pa sana tayo na dapat pag-usapan about Christian values. Pero, bukod doon na makakilala sa Lord, yung blessings will overtake you. You, you will not be knowing that uh, yung blessings dumadating na lang hindi mo inaasahan. Mm-hmm. Uh, gaya nga ang sabi ni Christ kanina, uh, several times na nanap daw sila ng mga bahay, but the Lord has given them more than what they expect. Diba? Ang ganda nga ng bahay ninyo. <laughs> parang mansion <laughs> so di ba kayo natutuwa na dito kayo nakatira na very presentable ang ganda-ganda kahit sino pwede mo invite hindi ka may hiyak di ba? so bukod doon uh, inviting din natin yung blessings ng Panginoon so yung sinasabi ko nga pagka ini-invite ko even in the Philippines uh, minsan uh, ino-open namin yung bahay namin sa gawain na kagaya nito then, uh, unknowingly yung blessings, hindi lang spiritual, kundi pati mga material, financial, grabe. Ang dami ko pa ninyo ipatutuos sa inyo na mga financial blessings na dumating sa, sa amin, sa buhay namin. Yung lang hindi ka magkasakit, hindi ka ma-ospital ng more than 30 years. How much money is that? Yes. Can you imagine? Amen. The whole family. Uh, tapos, lahat, usog-uso ngayon ng COVID. Eh, hindi ka mamatayan ng pamilya. Ang uh, laking bagay. Pag-ising mo sa umaga, umihinga ka, wala ka sa tayo. Those are blessings, di ba? Na pwede natin, ano. So, number one yun, when, when we invite the presence of God in our place, in our house, blessing will overtake you, blessings will follow you. 
Sabi ni sa Psalms chapter 91 verse 9 to 11, If you say, The Lord my refuge, and you take the most high your dwelling, no harm. Take note of that. Verse 10, Psalm 91 verse 9 to 11. Sabi sa verse 10, No harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near your tent. The tent means the dwelling house. No disaster will come near your, your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. So it is the angels of God, the protection of God will be always though, within those people who invite the blessings and the presence of God in their place, in their house. So sabi dyan, no, no harm will overtake you, no disaster. Ibig sabihin po, protectionan kayo ng Panginoon sa lahat ng klase ng disaster, curses, viruses, and all pestilence. Lahat na, name it, and God will protect you. God's protection will, all, will always be with you. So, na, napatunayan ko rin yan sa family namin kasi uh, sabi nila, Pastor, apat ang nagka-COVID sa inyo, bakit di ka na-apektuhan? Ikaw pa nang asikansin sa kanila. Mm-hmm. Kaya I am covered by the blood of Jesus. Amen. No? The covering of the blood of Jesus will be always upon those people who invite the presence of God to overtake them, uh, to, to dwell in their house. If they receive the presence of God, yung protection ng Diyos na doon natin. Kahit na nasa labas ka ng bahay, God's protection will be always upon you. At uh, lastly, in sabi sa Proverbs 24 verse 3, sabi rito, By wisdom a house is built, and through understanding it is established. Through knowledge, it rooms are filled with rare and beautiful treasures. Gusto niyo bang pumasok ang mga treasures? Pag sinabi natin treasures, ano ba yan? Treasures can be in, in terms of material possession, but treasures can be also in, 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 the, in the form of material blessings, no? spiritual blessings. Treasures beyond your imaginations, like your good health, di ba? Material blessings can be a treasures also. Ano ba yung mga pinaka-treasure possession mo at the moment? Minsan ang hirap itawa ng mga treasure possessions, di ba? But the moment you learn to release your treasure possessions, it will be the time that blessings will follow. Pagka kasi nakakoy yung lagi ang kamay mo, no? may isang kwento sa India, uh, I will end up on this story. Kung paano sila humuhuli ng, ng, ng umboy, no? they, they will use yung, yung bao, na yung sa loob ng bao, kasyang-kasya lang yung kamay ng, hukutasan nila yung kasyang-kasya lang yung kamay ng, ng unggoy. At sa loob ng bao ay nandun yung pagkain. Tatakmalin yun ng, ano, ng unggoy. Pag nahawakan na niya, nalaki na yung kamay niya. Di ba? Pag lumaki yung kamay niya, yeah, hindi na matatanggal, humahuli na yung unggoy. So, on what way that uh, na makatakas yung unggoy, makarilis? Bitawad niya yung, ano, yung hawak-hawak niya sa loob. So yun sinasabi na when I learned this principle of uh, blessings from the Lord na sabi nga you, you are more blessed you know, than to receive pagka ikaw ay nagbe-bless ng maraming tao uh, I learned to bless people around me kahit kilala ko sila o hindi so natutunan kong mag, mag, magbigay you know, uh, i-bless yung mga tao na nangailangan yung mga kapuspalad at yung balik grabe ang tindi ng balik sa family namin eh ano ko maniniwala kayo but uh, the blessings hindi mo maipaliwanag. Mm-hmm. So isang blessing siguro na pwedeng sabihin when we shifted from Dubai to Adman to Ajman. 8 years kami sa Dubai and uh, sa Ajman we are now on 8 years din almost 16 years na kami dito. But yung 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 buhay namin sa Dubai ay para talagang uh, I, I could say uh, nasa mansion. Uh, yung 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 monthly overhead ko is around 2 5 lang maximum lahat na yan no kung bigyan ka ng pagkain ng may-ari ng bahay ganun ganun lang halos araw-araw tapos pag yung mga anak ko pag bumababa na nagdaan ng kami sa taas kasama namin yung may-ari nakatira sa baba bibigyan ng santa ang dalawang daan so y- yung blessings grabe but nang pumunta kami sa Asman, sabi nila si Pastor Mark, naghirap na kung lumipat na na Asman, napunta na ng barbaryo. <laughs> Kasi pag nasa Asman ka, nasa umalpin ka, tingin ng mga tao sa Dubai para ka nasa baryo. Diba? So naghirap na yung Pastor Mark. Ang totoo lang, napunta kami ng Asman just for the intention of expanding the work of God in the Northern Emirates. Dito sa Asyarja, Asman, Umalpin, Basal Kaima, Kujaira. Then yung overhead ko na triple from 2 naging 8,000 plus monthly. Uh, so, ganun ka din din. 
But the blessings, when you follow the Lord, blessing will overtake you. We were, a, we were able to overcome yung, ano, yung, 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 yung overhead namin monthly. Kasi sabi ko, Lord, saan kukuha? Ang isip ng tao, naghirap na kami, pero sa totoo lang, naging triple yung gasos namin. O, kasi doon sa Dubai, all in na. Actually, yung bahay na pinupahan namin doon, yun naman talaga pinaupahan. Wala na lang talaga, patirahin kami ng libre. Blessings din ni Lord yung hiningi ko sa Panginoon niya. It is a mansion. Uh, mansion siya, I would say, kasi may ari mga maktub. Hindi uh, ko na ikwento yung iba, but uh, nung pumunta kami na Azman, mas lalo yung naging blessing. Hindi namin na-expect na yung 8 plus ay makakover namin. And we were able also to expand the work of God in the Northern Emirates. And the rest is story. Nakarating namin dito sa Diba. So nagkaroon ng gawain dito. Namit namin sila Grace, sila Tupi, sila Engineer, and all the members of the group here. And we are so thankful to the Lord. And kayo nandito kayo ngayon. So now what we will do is, uh, meron ka bang oil? Tiny na oil. We will uh, pray for, for this house. Basta oh, pwede nga. Yung atang ano pwede sila nyo ako nyo. We will pray now. Uh, we will release the blessing. Uh, we are so thankful actually kasi nandito yung grupo ni Nikki. They will be able to witness what uh, is the importance of this. Now we will pray for this. Now, yung mga nakatira sa, ano, lalo na sila Grace, si Tope, si Engineer, yung mga involved sa, si Mary, uh, dito kay sa harap. Dito kay? Tsaka si Nikki. Uh, si Nikki, ito first time mga witness ng ganito. Si Anteri, mga yun ang mga nakabalay ko lahat yung nakatira dito. What we will do, uh, we will pray for this oil, we will anoint this oil, and uh, pupunta tayo sa mga kwarto natin. Na kung saan tayo nakatira, nakatira kami din. Uh, kasama yung kusina, then uh, we will pray, we will extend a prayer of blessing. So, ano yun? Lord, pagpalain mo po ang kwartong ito, pagpalain mo po ang salas na ito, pagpalain mo lang ang titira rito. Yung magpupronounce lang tayo ng prayer of uh, blessing. Kung okay sa inyo. Sasamahan namin kayo ng tutorial ni Pep. So let us pray. Lord, we thank you and we glorify your holy name today. O Lord God, you are a living testimony and a witness, O Lord God, for this house blessing. Salamat kay Nikki sa mga nakatira rito, Panginoon, kay Grace, kay Tukes, sa lahat, O Lord, sa bawat isa. Salamat po sa puso nila na handang uh, ipasago ang tahanan na ito sa iyo, Panginoon, bilang Diyos nila na nakatira rito. And Lord, as we live up to you, this oil, O Lord God, we release your anointing. Bless and sanctify this oil, O Lord God, and yes. use this as instrument of blessing. As we pray for every corner of this place, O Lord God, we release your blessing, we release your anointing, and today, Lord God, we declare, O Lord Jesus, freedom from all sicknesses, freedom from all kinds of curse, and Father, we also renounce every works of the devil that took place, O Lord God, in this place. And we cast it out at the feet of Jesus. And Father, we release the blessings upon every corner of this place in the name of Jesus. Tinadalangin namin, Panginoon, na lahat o Diyos ng klase ng gawain ng kaaway ni Satanas na nangyari dito in the past, we renounce it right now in the name of Jesus. We nullify all the spirit of sickness, all the spirit of virus in the name of Jesus, and we release the blood of Jesus to cover this entire place, O Lord God, free from any harm, free from any virus, as O Lord God. And we also pray for the unity among those brethren who are staying and living in this place, O Lord God. Father, we thank you and we release all the available blessings that comes from heaven to be upon everyone. Lahat na nakatira dito, Panginoon, pagpalain mo sila, ilayo mo sila sa lahat ng klase ng karamdaman, kasakitan, and we release the unity among them, O Lord God. We thank you and we glorify your name. This is our prayer in Jesus' mighty name and every say, everybody says amen. amen. Praise the Lord. So, we begin our prayer. Jesus' <laughs> 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 
Sa YouTube, kikita nyo yan. Lagi sa ano yan, Mary? Mary, puro ba rito? Ito po namin kanya. Saan ko punta? Si Mary, sa saan? Si Mary, nakasundaan. Ay, sandaan kami. Ano ko nila kayo sandaan ni? 300? Hindi, 300. Kaya ka? 300? Oo, naka 300 tayo. Pinagay ko sa inyo 100 ko. Oo. Okay. Saan? Sige. Pinagpaan lang sa utak ko. This is what I like. <laughs> 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 